this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof, it's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell the other champs now. Have Razor done it? Have Razor done it? I think they may have. Well, they've got closest out of any uh, manufacturer I've seen so far to have an ultra portable powerhouse, not just for gaming. It's going to be great for video editing too. Closest thing. And this thing is game changing in a lot of ways. I think they just pulled the wrong rein. Yeah, I'll talk about it. So anyway, what is it? It is a 13 inch ultra book. So razor blade stealth, but with a GTX 1650 graphics and GTX 1650 graphics. That thing is good enough to play 60 frames per second, you know, high, medium, high settings, pretty much any game. You know, this is what's in the XPS 15. Powerful graphics. I know you people with your RTX 2070s, with your big dongs flopped out, are saying, ha oh, ha, 1650. But come on, it's a 13 inch, all right? And 60 frames, medium, high settings is it's good. For me, it's good enough. So anyway, so they announced this at IFA. So basically, these are going to start at fourteen ninety nine US or sixteen seventy nine, and what is it euros? So let's have a look at it and look at the specs now. How sexy is the white Mercury one? My God, that is so sexy. Now I'm not into the black ones. I think you already know that the matte black they show fingerprints and just too hard to keep clean. I like my laptops clean. So what you need to know, it's a 13 inch, like it's only 1.3 kilos. I mean, have a look at that. How sexy is that? Oh my God. Beautiful. I love it in white, that mercury white. And the problem is with the mercury white, let's get onto the specs. We have a look at the specs here. The mercury white does not come with the graphics card. So disappointed. Also, what you'll know about the Mercury White one is they all come with 10th gen Intel processors. Now, this is where I think they pulled the wrong rein, is they're using Ice Lake. If you don't know the difference between Ice Lake and Comet Lake, which are both 10th generation Ultrabook CPUs, check out my video on that. That's not what this video is about. But basically, if it has a G, see that G there? If it has a G in the name, it is an Ice Lake. If it has a U or a Y, it is a Comet Lake. Now, the difference between the Comet Lake is, I keep on saying Comet, 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 Comet Lake is, yeah, it has six cores, right? So that's the big deal. So with the Comet Lake, you get six cores, up to six cores with the i7. With Ice Lake, you're only going to get, well, I say only, you're limited to four cores only. Now, what you get with the Ice Lake is, you know, built-in Thunderbolt 3 into the, you know, the CPU. You get built-in Wi-Fi 6. All of these are Wi-Fi 6 anyway. You also get the Iris Plus graphics. And the Iris Plus graphics are pretty much comparable to an MX150, okay? So it's got as much power as that. So with the Mercury White version, you get a 25-watt version of the Ice Lake. So it's going to be really powerful. It's going to have, you know, good graphics for integrated graphics. And you get updated HEVC encoding, updated H.264 and 8K and all that sort of stuff built into the um, Iris Plus there. With the Comic Lake, you don't get that. Now, none of these come with Comic Lake. doesn't matter if you get the GTX version, which is the one with the graphics card. You're not going to get Comet Lake. So you can't get the six cores. And that's where I think they pulled the wrong rein. I think this is right. With the Mercury White one, only coming without the graphics card, yes. All right, understand. The 25-watt part's going to fly. Those graphics are perfectly fine for integrated graphics. It's going to be better for video editing. You'll be able to game, you know, low settings, 1080p, like Fortnite or whatever. It's going to be good for an Ultrabook without graphics. But with the GTX version, you're only getting the 15-watt part because it doesn't say 25-watt, so I assume you're getting only the 15-watt part. And you can see there why, because it has 100 watt power, all right? So the GTX has 100 watt power, 65 watts for the Ice Lake one, the white version. So 100 watts, you know, the 15 watts can still crank up to 28 watts easily, um, but it's not 25 out of the box, which is the Mercury white one has 25 out of the box. This one will be a 15 watt. The GTX version will be able to crank up to, you know, 28 watts, depending on thermals, of course, once you introduce, you know, GPU heat and the limiting factor of 100 watts. You know, how much wattage you'll get in that CPU, we'll have to find out. But they could have put the six core in there 
And then it would have been the best Ultrabook going around by like a million miles because there is no 13-inch Ultrabook that can compare to 15-inch laptops. It just doesn't happen. Uh, they're missing two cores. I mean, they're 45 watts. They've got more powerful graphics. But if you had six cores in this GTX version and a GTX 1650, you're talking about Dell XPS 9570 sort of power. Yes, the CPU's... You know, 15 watts, cranking up to 28. It's not the same, but with the efficiencies of the 10th gen, he would perform very similar to a 9570 XPS 15, which is the six core one with the GTX 1050. This one would compete with it, but because it's using Ice Lake, which I don't understand why you want to use Ice Lake when you've got a graphics card. If you've got a graphics card, unless you really just want Thunderbolt 3 built into the CPU and Wi Fi 6 built into the CPU, you know, whatever. It still would be able to have Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 3, even if it was Comet Lake, but it wouldn't be built into the CPU. It would be built into the, you know, the bridge and it would need like a separate discrete controller for the Thunderbolt. But I'll give up that for, you know, two extra cores. And then you're talking about a 13 inch that has the power of basically a 15 inch one generation ago. I do agree the Mercury White without the graphics have the Ice Lake, but they should have put the Comet Lake Comet like in the um, GTX version. Give us the option of the six cores. That being said, nothing comes close to this in Ultrabook territory. You're going to have 10th generation Ice Lake CPU, Thunderbolt 3 built in, Wi Fi 6 built in. The Full HD version, it's a low wattage part, so it's going to have good battery life with the Full HD. What are they saying here? 53 watt hour battery, 10 hours battery life. That's with the Full HD, of course. So you might get, you know, five hours maybe with the 4k something like that five six hours maybe with the 4k we'll have to see factory calibrated as well and what's the weight here here's the thing right so the weight 3.13 pounds at 1.42 kilos and with the 4k it's 1.48 kilos so if you look at it if you get the ice lake white one which is beautiful i wish they had the gtx version in white i'm gonna keep on saying it come on razor what are you doing yeah, if you just look at that one, it's like 1.36 kilos, 2.99 pounds. So we're talking MacBook Pro sort of um, weight there or, or Lenovo like Carbon or X1 Yoga weight there. If you're talking about the one with the graphics card a little bit heavier, so we're talking like, you know, 0.1, 0.2 of a pound difference. But still, considering it has a graphics card, that is amazing. I think it looks amazing. This is game changing. Finally, I think we have a 13-inch Ultrabook portable that you can get your video editing done, you can get your gaming done. Yeah, they're all 60 hertz, so both the 4K and the Full HD, and the 4K is touch. But now you've got a portable 13-inch powerhouse. I really look forward to testing this. I still think they should have put the 6 cores in the GTX version just because, you know, nearly XPS 15 sort of power then. But um, four cores, discrete graphics in a 13-inch package. I'm not going to complain. I can't wait to get this in. Uh, let me know what you think down there. Catch you in the next one.